Did you know? Now the steel behemoth can also achieve zero emission. This sounds like a plot in a science fiction movie, but it is actually happening around us. In November this year, China invested 270 million US dollars to officially start the construction of the world's largest 700 TU, 10,000 ton pure electric intelligent container ship. I checked carefully, and this ship is indeed extraordinary. Its hull length is about 127.8 meters, and its width is 21.6 meters, which is almost the same as the area of a standard football field. What's more worth mentioning is that this behemoth is driven by new energy batteries with a power of up to 1,900 kilowatt hours. It uses 10 replaceable marine container batteries as a power source, breaking through the limitation that traditional electric ships can only be recharged. As soon as this news was released, it attracted widespread attention around the world. And some people even exclaimed, China has begun to build a pure electric sea giant, which is simply a technology madman. It can be said that the birth of this technology indicates that China's shipbuilding industry is moving towards a new era. So, in today's video, let's take a look at what other advanced technologies this electric ship made in China has, and how it will reform the entire shipping industry. If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now let's get into today's topic. In recent years, with the increase in human industrial activities, Excessive emissions of greenhouse gases have led to continued global warming, frequent extreme weather, and great damage to the ecological environment. But when it comes to carbon emissions, China must be included. As a world-renowned world factory, China has a huge industrial manufacturing system. But industrial development of this scale is also accompanied by huge energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. In September of this year, a report was released in New York, USA, accusing China of being the world's largest greenhouse gas emitter, accounting for nearly 33% of the world's total emissions. The report also claimed that since the signing of the Paris Agreement, most of the growth in global climate pollution has been driven by China. Data shows that in 2023, the total global carbon emissions will reach 37.4 billion tons equivalent, of which China's carbon emissions will reach a record 12.6 billion tons, ranking first in the world. More specifically, China's industrial and transportation sectors are the hardest hit areas of carbon emissions. Industrial emissions account for 66% of the total, and the transportation sector also accounts for 16%. Faced with this situation, China has made many efforts to reduce emissions, especially in new energy technologies, and has achieved remarkable results. In the industrial field, China actively develops and promotes new energy power generation technologies such as photovoltaics, wind power, and hydropower, which not only meet domestic demand, but also export to many countries and regions around the world, contributing to the global carbon neutrality goal. In the field of transportation, China vigorously promotes pure electric vehicles to provide consumers with more economical and affordable new energy options and help families reduce carbon emissions in daily travel. However, it should be noted that although new energy technologies are widely used in land transportation such as automobiles, carbon emissions in the shipping industry remain high. According to statistics, about 50,000 merchant ships sail on the sea every day around the world. These ships emit large amounts of pollutants, such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides when in operation, causing great damage to the marine ecosystem and seriously affecting the air quality in coastal areas. According to the International Maritime Organization, global merchant ships account for about 3% of global carbon dioxide emissions, and by 2050, this proportion may rise to 17%. Faced with this grim situation, China is also actively investing in research in this field, applying new energy technologies to large sea freighters. Many people may not know that in fact, as early as a few years ago, China has successfully developed a variety of green ships, 
including electric transport ships, pure electric deep sea probes, methanol powered ships, and dual fuel container ships. However, these ships are mainly used for short distance transportation and are still unable to bear the heavy responsibility of cross border trade. However, what is surprising is that this year China announced an investment of 270 million US dollars to build the world's largest electric container ship, officially opening the prelude to the electrification of long distance shipping. So, what is unique about this ship compared to traditional ships? In early November this year, China's Ningbo Ocean Shipping Company announced the launch of the construction project of the world's largest and first 10,000-ton pure electric high-end intelligent seagoing ship. Two ultra-large pure electric open container ships have officially started construction. It is understood that the two 10,000-ton electric seagoing ships are 127.8 meters long, 21.6 meters wide, and 10.5 meters deep. They are equipped with a twin-machine, twin-propeller propulsion system and can reach a maximum speed of 11.5 knots. This scale and technology are at the leading level both at home and abroad. What's even more striking is that the two ships are designed with approximately 740 standard 20-foot container spaces and are equipped with 10 container-type batteries as power sources, achieving truly zero-emission navigation. In terms of environmental protection, these two Chinese-made seagoing ships have achieved a revolutionary breakthrough. When docked, they can be charged via high-voltage shore power or can be quickly swapped using suspended box-type batteries, which significantly improves energy efficiency and environmental protection. In addition, a photovoltaic system is installed on the ship, which can use solar energy to provide continuous power to the ship, truly achieving zero emissions during operation and port loading and unloading. It is worth mentioning that the lithium batteries used in these two ships have a total power of up to 1,900 kilowatts, making them the largest marine lithium batteries in the world. This kind of battery has the advantages of high safety, long life, low cost and balanced performance, and is especially suitable for use on large ships. China has established a complete industrial chain in the field of lithium iron phosphate batteries. According to data from China Classification Society, as of 2024, a total of 36 companies across the country have obtained certification for lithium batteries, of which 30 stated that they use lithium iron phosphate batteries. This shows that China already has the world's leading battery supply chain laying a solid foundation for the rapid development of electric ships. With this advantage, China is expected to become an important driving force in the global electric ship industry in the future. In addition to their excellent environmental performance, these two ships have also reached new heights in intelligence. They are equipped with intelligent integrated platforms, intelligent cabins, and open water autonomous navigation systems, and have a variety of intelligent functions such as real-time perspective, all-weather navigation, visual perception, route planning, unmanned driving, autonomous collision avoidance, and driving mode switching. These technologies not only greatly improve the operational efficiency of ships, but also provide significant guarantees for navigation safety. According to the construction plan, the two ships are expected to be officially put on the slipway for construction in March 2025 and launched in July 2025, while the first ship will be put into use in January 2026. Once put into operation, the operation of China's coastal container ships will officially enter the zero emission, pure electric era, which will become an important milestone in promoting the green, zero carbon, and high quality development of the shipping industry. Just imagine, Instead of billowing smoke accompanying giant ships sailing on the vast sea, these zero-emission, smart ships shuttle lightly. This will undoubtedly be an amazing sight. In fact, when China took the lead in applying new energy technology on small container ships, it attracted widespread attention from the international community. Some shipping giants even said that they are more willing to choose electric carriers than traditional fuel carriers. It is not difficult to see from this that this large-scale pure electric container ship built in China is expected to reshape the entire shipping industry. At present, 
The number of container ships in operation in the world has reached 7,049, of which 6,260 are dedicated container ships and the rest are multi-purpose ships. With a total capacity of 30,493,600 TUs, about 361 million deadweight tons. And this number is rising every year. According to the World Trade Organization's forecast, global seaborne trade volume will increase by 2.2% 2 .2 in 2024 to 12.6 billion tons, and is expected to increase by another 2% 2 in 2025 to more than 12.8 billion tons. As a key node in the global supply chain, China has 121,900 transport ships, of which electric ships account for less than 1%, which is significantly lower than the global average. This not only shows that electric ships are still in their infancy in the Chinese market, but also shows huge market potential in the future. Once the large pure electric container ship announced a few days ago is successfully built and put into use, it will not only trigger a surge in demand in the domestic Chinese market, but may even drive growth in the global market. However, despite the huge market potential of electric ships, there are still two major challenges to achieving widespread application. The first is the cost of batteries. The high cost of the battery system of electric ships makes them one to two times more expensive than equivalent fuel ships. As far as I know, the cost of a set of containerized batteries is as high as 530,000 US dollars. The warranty period of the battery is usually eight years, while the service life of the ship is about 30 years, which means that the battery may need to be replaced three to four times during the entire life cycle. Therefore, the battery investment alone exceeds the cost of a diesel-powered ship of the same size. Another challenge is the competition of zero-carbon fuel technology, especially methanol fuel. Methanol has been adopted as an alternative fuel by many large global shipping companies including Maersk, CMA CGM, and Costco Shipping. At present, there are more than 200 orders for methanol-fueled ships in the world, making it the first choice for many shipping companies to build new ships. Moreover, the technology of methanol-fueled ships originated in China. At present, six methanol ships have been built and orders are still increasing. In summary, whether it is a pure electric ship or a methanol-powered ship, the ultimate goal of its research and development is to achieve carbon neutrality, and the promoter and beneficiary of these technological innovations is undoubtedly the country that promotes these technological advances China. To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.